hello and welcome back so now we can damage the enemy now let's allow the enemy to damage our player so for that in the scripts folder open up the player script and right here now we need to assign a player health things okay so let me remove that and guys basically the logic behind damaging the player now will be the same as we did for the enemy okay so right here at the top we will create a private float and let's name this as player health this will be equals to 120f after this create a private float again and this will be the player present health and then right here in the start we will equal the present health to the player health so in the game start the player health will be then 120 after this let's scroll down and after this sprint function we will create another function by the name of player hit damage let's name this as float take damage and now let's pass the take damage value to this function so if we click on this enemy and inside this shoot player function we will do the same as we did for the enemy so let's first of all at the player script right here and we will name this as player body so we will say if we hit whatever whatever object on which we have the player script so we will say get component and let's name it player script okay and then we will check if we have found an object or if if we say that if we hit that object on which the player script is assigned so if we hit it what we will do we will give that thing a damage okay so we will simply say player body dot player hit a damage okay this is the function which we created right here player hit damage and as you know it takes a float which is take damage so right here we will pass the give damage variable and if you see at the top the give damage is by default set to 5f so 5f damage or 5 units damage will be given to our player okay so it was simple as that we are now giving damage to the player so now let's decrease the player health so what we will do we will say present health minus equals to the take damage and now as you know take damage is five units and after this we will check if the present health is less than or equals to zero then what we will do we will call a function which is player die and now let's create this player die function down below we will say private void player die and in here we simply want to destroy the player game object so we'll say destroy game object after 1.0 f or you can say after one seconds and also we want the cursor to be then unlocked so for that we will say cursor dot log stat equals to cursor lock mode dot none okay so this will basically unlock our cursor now if we save save this script my tongue is slipping sorry for that okay so now we just simply save the script okay get back 
to the unity now if we click on the player let's go inside the debug mode as you can see we have the player health and the present health which is zero if you play the game the present health will be in 120 you will notice whoops let me minimize this okay okay so now as you can see the present health is 120 let's get closer to the enemy so that it damages Okay, shooting player now as you can see the player health is decreasing as you can see now it is 85 80 75 let the enemy kill us so we can also damage the enemy okay let him kill us okay now the enemy is being the only one left in the game and our player is simply just destroyed and now as you can see the cursor is unlocked as you can see so now we will simply close the game and this is the reason we unlock the cursor okay now we can just simply close the game from there but this is because we unlock the cursor because we will then show a end game menu okay so for that we want the cursor to be unlocked or else we will not be able to click any option in that menu so now the next thing which we need to do is to add animation to our enemy okay because now our enemy just slides down the surface or you can say the ground and it doesn't look beautiful it just look ugly if I say so in the next video we will add animation to our enemy for that catch guys in the next video